Hi, wow, that's our intro. Welcome to New York. This is Vanessa Joy, at Vanessa Joy here on Instagram, and we are here with Adorama, and I'm gonna show you how to create beautiful light on our gorgeous model. This is Jessica, everyone. We're gonna talk about how to make beautiful light when you've got overhead light like this. It's not so attractive, and we are using very inexpensive equipment, just one speed light, although mine is a pro photo, that would not be considered inexpensive, but this can be done with any speed light and this gorgeous glow, this is Adorama brand, five in one reflector. I'm, I'm like one of those people I don't take tags off. I've had this for at least six months. <laughs> so what we'll first start off with is I want to teach you how to recognize the way that light looks on a face because a lot of people, natural light photographers, myself included, would look at this and think, oh, it's nice soft light and it's easy to photograph in. But to be honest, it's really not. I'm gonna let you hold on to those. And let's see, I'm gonna have you come right over there. That's perfect. So I kind of want these blue buildings in the back and I'm just gonna take a photo so you can see what the light looks like on her face. I'm a little bit weird if you know me, I get my exposure by using my live view. Um, not entirely, but you know, just to begin and I kind of move it around. It's really nice for when I'm trying to adjust white balance, I can see what I'm doing. So depending on what camera you're using, that will work um, or you have to set a custom function. So let's go ahead and take a photo. All right, and it's a little overexposed, but this is what I want you to see. Notice we are not doing any favors. She's got these, Jessica has these beautiful bright eyes. You can't even see them. We are highlighting like underneath her eyes. I'm sorry, I'm not being mean. <laughs> but we're highlighting like dark circles under her eyes. The brightest part is like her nose. So this, if I photograph the client like this, they're not gonna be happy. So first thing you think about as a natural light photographer is let's get a reflector. So. We can use a reflector normally, and the normal way to use it would be kind of to come here. And this is okay. Can I have you hold this right there? But the light is coming from the side. But let me take a photo, you can see the difference. It's certainly an improvement. I'm not gonna let you smile, shall I take like the photo? That is a good one. You know how you see before and after photos and they're always frowning in the before <laughs> ones? All right, so we went from this to this, and this is a little bit better, but again, underneath her eyes, not looking so great. Um, you know, we can really get some more light in her eyes. So here's what we're gonna do. This five in one reflector, we can take this part off and in the middle of it, it's a little tight. Ugh. Watch me rip it <laughs> in front of everyone. All right, in the middle of it is this translucent. All right, the rest of the five in one reflector, if you're curious, there's a black side there's the gold and silver, which is, you know, if you want a little bit warmer of a fill coming in, and then the silver if you want more specular highlights. I tend to just use the white, and this is what I'm gonna show you now. So, I'm gonna hand that to you. Now, the way you have to think about this, because it's kind of weird, is this is now my new light source, all right? So I'm gonna put it actually over her head. It has to be super close and not just like this, and then I'm gonna tilt it down. And by tilting it down, now this is my light source coming at an angle, almost like if you were in the studio, you would put, um, I don't know, an umbrella or a beauty dish or a softbox tilted down at that same angle. So I'm gonna have you hold this here. Now it's really kinda dark right now, so we're gonna have a solution for this in a little bit, but let me just show you what this looks like. It has to be really close. If you wanna stand over there, Suli, I think, yeah, it's gotta be super close to her head. It's like here, welcome to your tent. <laughs> nice, good. All right, so not quite so what we want yet, but there's another part to this reflector that people usually just throw away. I have a whole other white side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clamshell her. I'm gonna have you hold this, all right, up to your face. And now I'm a little bit lower. Now I'm filling in those shadows on the bottom. So without, you can even just look at her face. Without, with, without, wet. Look how her eyes just like light up. Let's take this photo. And I haven't changed my settings at all, which I'll let you know what they are. Crazy, so that was before and that was after. Look at her eyes, it's like, whoa, now you can see her eyes are blue. So my settings, in case you care, this, by the way, is the Canon 1DX Mark II. I've got the 85 1.4 with the image stabilization on it. And I have this set at 400, 
2.5 and shutter speed at 200. Crazy difference. Guys, I'm only using a reflector and now I've got this gorgeous light just lighting her up. So here's the thing. I'm gonna just turn you. Let's turn you so you're facing the, or, well, face me. I'm gonna turn myself, I guess. So turn all the way this way, yeah. And I'm just gonna get a different background here. So we've got this like dark green. All right, let's just take a photo here. You can lower the um, thingy and so that you can raise yours a little bit. Yep, perfect. All right, so now we just have a different background. So we've got this here as opposed to this kind of white blowing out white here. All right, I wanna to go to green because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the pro photo light. So you can do this with any speed light you want, but we are gonna use what I own and I personally own the A1, all right? Because it's a little bit dark, you notice my eyes, so it's not super hot. You can rest for a second. <laughs> Here's my shoulder workout. Um, it is a little bit darker in here and maybe I don't want to go up to 400 on my shutter speed or maybe I want to go higher on my aperture. Um, you know, or myriad of reasons why you would want more light, but we can take this light and use it to light her face without it just being like this light in her face. Because if you have a smaller light, it's more of a hard light source and it's probably not gonna look so great on somebody's face. But if you have a larger light source, which is our shoot through here, now we're gonna have a much softer light on her. So all I'm doing right now, I put my transmitter on top of my camera, I'm gonna turn on the pro photo. Again, you can do this with any light you want. We got our channel set to 3A. I'm talking you through this so I make sure I have everything set. Yeah, channel three, got A. Right now I'm on TTL. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down on my ISO, down to 100, nah, let's go to 200, right? So a little bit cleaner as it was a 400. And then I'm gonna go up on my uh, aperture. I was at 2.5, but maybe I want a little more in focus. So I'm gonna go, let's say to, let's go to four. Four is nice. All right, I'm just creating a little bit better of an exposure, maybe something else that I want, but I'm gonna need more light for that. Because if I take this photo right now, let's turn the pro photo off. And yeah, we don't need that right now. Let me just take the photo. All right, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit dark and our green background is a little bit darker. So maybe that's what I'm going for. Maybe I wanted to darken the background. You know, again, 100 reasons why we wanna do this. Let me, yeah, let me shoot you from this way right here. So we're gonna bring our light over and this is where this will become like a team effort here. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna go here, mm -hmm. but you've gotta hold that there. Okay. So now I'm gonna hold this. This is, this is fun. Ideally, by the way, guys, you have a light stand that this is set on, but we're in New York and we're not allowed to put sticks on the ground here. So let's do it once without that. So I'll help you hold this. I've got my pro photo turned on and it's just set to TTL. So go ahead and oh, and here's the trick. So see how close the light is to here? If I were to flash this light, I'm gonna flash it. Hopefully you guys will see it. It's only taking up like this much. You wanna get this further away so that when it flashes, it takes up the whole white part here because you want this to be your new light source. So the bigger it is, the more you let the light spread all over it, the softer your light is gonna be. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why I kind of need to help Silly hold it. Go down a little bit more with just the right there. That should be good. And again, we're just on TTL. Good. All right, you can rest for a second. All right, so that's where we are right now. So that was natural light. This was a different natural light where we just had the reflector, lighter background, but now we've got a more dark background. I don't know if we can, yeah, if I back up, I think the exposure goes better. All right, so that's where we are now. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that power setting. So I'm gonna switch from TTL to manual. Now, you know, if you want, I could have used a light meter to do this. I could have done this a few different ways, but this is the fastest for me. My power setting, in case anybody cares, is at 6.2. I think it was a little bit bright for my taste. Um, so I'm gonna go down a half a stop. I'm gonna go to 5.7. All right, so we're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna add this white reflector. So this is where the team effort comes in. <laughs> this is gonna go up. I'm gonna hold this. 
And now what you're gonna do, since we're actually gonna do your headshot now, stick your chin towards me like this. Whenever you do headshots, you wanna tell them, stick their chin out. So it's not up, it's not down, it's out, like turtle popping out of its shell. <laughs> you can lower this a whole bunch. Lower it like to your hip almost, yeah. A little, a little more. The closer I get it to her, the more it's gonna fill the shadows. So if I want a little bit more dimension to her face, I'm gonna lower my pseudo reflector here. <laughs> So stick your chin towards me a whole bunch. Perfect. Let me take a couple more like that. Nice, and then go ahead, tilt your chin up a little bit. And I'm having her tilt her chin towards the light. There we go. All right, cool. So here's what we got. Much cleaner, let me go to, this is what it was like without it. And there's a lot more, you know, shadows going on underneath her chin. You might like that, who knows? I'm trying to get a better exposure, that's a little better. And then coming to here, now we're filling it in a little bit more. And this is what I like. When we turn her face towards the light just a little bit more, I've now got this like clamshell sort of set up and I can see her jawline. She has a nice soft neck shadow there. Lots of different um, things I love about this. And I can see her face a little bit more. Now, if you look at this and think eh, a little bit too dramatic, looks a little bit too flashy, let's change a few things. So right now I have it set at 6,000 on my white balance. That's just because I like it a little bit warmer. The light that's coming out of the Profoto A1 is around 5,600 Kelvin. So I could go a little bit lower. The other thing that I could do is I can change my ISO to go lower because I do wanna shoot at a lower aperture. So I'm gonna go down on my aperture from four. I'm gonna go down one, two, three clicks to 2.8 and then you press your ISO and go down one, two, three clicks, so I'm down at 100. It's an easy way to get to a different exposure to get a different look by counting your clicks, I call it, um, and still get the same exposure. So now this is more of my style, and the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shutter speed and I'm gonna lower it. Let's lower it just to, let's try one, one twenty-fifth of a second. I want my background to be just a little bit brighter just a little. So let's go ahead, take a couple more like this, a little bit shallower depth of field. Again, kind of a little bit more my style. And then you could like tilt your head this way a little. Love that. Do a couple with your chin up. Nice. Perfect. And then just for fun, we're going to tilt this way, this way, this way, right there. Cause I want to get a different background here. Perfect. Chin up a little bit. Nice. And then go dead on towards me. Nice, love it. And actually, you have really cool blue eyes. Let me do one thing real quick. I know you, <laughs> you gotta come down. I'm just going down. It got a little bit hot on my flash there. Every little inch that she, where'd you go? <laughs> Every little inch that she moves it closer, it's gonna make a big difference in the light. So it's kind of something to play with, but I really like how the blue in this building behind her brings out her eyes. So I wanna focus in on that. So. Let's come back here, I'm gonna pull this. Then I'm gonna get kind of obnoxiously close, tilt that down a little bit, yeah. This looks so much fun. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go down on my white balance so everything's a little bluer and it'll help bring out her eyes. Nice. This is fun. Tilt your head down a little bit and then go ahead up again. Fun, tilt your head a little bit down, just a smidge, and then like this way and up a little. You are really good at like instructions. <laughs> nice, and then all the way back to me again. Perfect, all right. Let me show the people, the people at home. All right, so here's what we did. Little bit bright, no, actually no, I don't have any highlights, I don't have any blinkies, so I didn't over, overexpose it, but just trying to get a little bit different of a crop, and then we got some of the normal ones here. But you can see how this made a difference. So see how much blue I get back here, as opposed to when we first started and I shot her there, it was mostly going white behind her. So because, even though I like this photo, the blue behind her in the building isn't coming out as much, just because of how the light is set. But if I switch to using this flash, now there's more of the blue coming out. I think that's more of a favorite. And now you can see it a little bit better. 
So just different way, and there's a wedding. <laughs> I clearly don't format my cards. This was last weekend's wedding. I was asking for histogram. <laughs> oh yeah, histogram. Sure. So pretty on point. Uh, I should mention that, that whenever I'm setting my exposure and sort of getting it with the live view on the camera, this is not an accurate, you know, it's not kind of like some mirrorless ones have like an accurate, what the exposure looks like. So it's really good to always check your histogram uh, and make sure that you're on point. Make sure there's no blinkies as I call them. Nice. These all look great. Perfect. All right. Does that make sense? So all we did today is we took one reflector. I think this is a $40 reflector and we, um, you know, took it apart in order to make a clamshell setup uh, with one light and being really portable and being able to do this uh, in the rain, which is it's kind of raining here now. And hopefully that's helpful for you. You can do this again with natural light if you want to, like we started off. It's a great natural light solution, or you can manipulate your exposure a little bit and, and change it so that, you know, maybe you're getting a darker background instead of blowing it out and you have more control over your light. <laughs> so I was at a wedding and did this and you know, it was great for all of the other bridesmaids to look at and see me doing something different. These bridesmaids had been in a ton of different weddings but had never seen a photographer take the time to do this gorgeous studio lighting on a bride. So in addition to it looking amazing for my client, now it's like a marketing tool as well because it's something different and something they'll remember. So give it a try. Let me know how you do it. Again, I'm using my Profoto A1, but you can use any speed light you have. You could even do this with some kind of continuous light if you wanted to. Just remember that the bigger your light source is, like this 42 inch shoot through reflector, the softer the light is going to be on your subject. So my name is Vanessa Joy, at Vanessa Joy here on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next month here at Adorama. And thank you guys.